The longest government shutdown continues today. Today marks day 24 and is taking a toll on federal workers and contractors who are working now without pay. And Senator Richard Blumenthal will be discussing the impact it'll be having at our state's largest airport. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Carolina Cruz joins us now live from Bradley International Airport in Windsor Locks with more. Carolina. Good morning. Well, the longest shutdown isn't a record that we necessarily want. These TSA workers continue screening people and checking bags, but they aren't seeing a dime right now. And all eyes will be on this airport. It's Connecticut's biggest airport as aviation officials meet with politicians to discuss the shutdown and the uh, impact it's having on workers responsible for our safety during air travel. Air traffic controllers and TSA agents at airports nationwide are working without pay. Today, Senator Richard Blumenthal will talk about the effect it's having on families and again, the safety and security components with long-term ramifications. Just last week, Senator Chris Murphy was at Tweed New Haven Airport doing the same. Out of the 800,000 federal workers impacted, nearly 420,000 are deemed essential and are without pay. An additional 380,000 are staying home without pay. Furloughed workers received back pay during previous shutdowns, but there is no guarantee that will be the case this time around. Down south, several airports are closed, closed terminals over the weekend because TSA officers have been calling in sick at nearly twice the normal rate. This past Friday was the first time that those 800,000 workers received uh, that are impacted by the shutdown received pay stubs and their paycheck this time around came out to zero and it's unclear when this will end as the government shutdown continues between a debate over funding for a border wall. We're going to continue tracking the latest on the shutdown and bring you updates as soon as they're available. But for now, reporting at Bradley International Airport, I'm Carolina Cruz, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.